Hey guys! So today I'm coming at you barefaced because I have a Tony Molly mask that I'm going to try. I'm going to be trying out the Premium Snail Tony Molly Intense Care Snail Hydro Gel Mask. Tony Molly is a Korean beauty brand and um, they come out with some pretty crazy stuff. So they have this snail mask which it says comes from the extracted mucin or mucin, mucin? element from snails. So I'm just going to read the back to you guys really fast so that you guys can get the gist of what the mask is supposed to do. It says, skin nourishing and deep moisturizing mask sheet with extracted mucin or mucin, whatever word it is, element from snail secretion filtrate. It's irritation formula free. So I'm assuming it's not going to bug my sensitive skin. Um, and then it says, contains astonishing filtered liquid of snail mucin that is a source of boosting vitality, fully replenishes skin with its ample moisture to solidify skin's hydration barrier. In addition, a plant extract called cer ceramium, ceramium condoi, condoi, I don't know. I'm so bad at pronouncing words. <laughs> Protects the exacerbated skin against the external damage by supplying the necessary nutrition to skin. This unique mask helps brighten and moisturize skin with its hydrating gel formula. Basically, it's just a hydrating mask. Um, then it says, for directions, tear open and apply to a face. Leave on for 20 to 30 minutes and then remove. The only thing I don't know about this mask is that some face masks you can rub the residual moisture that's on your skin into your skin and then you just leave it kind of like a serum on your skin. Um, and then some of them you actually wash off of your face and then you know you do your whole um, moisturizer and serums and whatever your skincare routine is. So I don't know if I'm supposed to rub this into my skin after I take it off or if I'm going to be washing it off. I'm gonna wash it off since it's snail stuff. That kind of freaks me out. And I hate, like I am terrified of anything that doesn't have legs or has too many legs. So I'm not really afraid of spiders. They're no big deal, unless they're like gigantic then no thank you and i literally don't eat mushrooms because they remind the texture in my mouth reminds me of a slug like or like a, what a slug would feel like in my mouth if i ate a slug so anyway this freaks me out and since it freaked me out i figured that would be a great video to do <laughs> so i am going to put this on my face i just rip open the top and then, by the way, I did wash my face, but I did not moisturize it. Ugh. It's, it really looks like, ugh. Oh God, this is freaking me out. It really looks like the stuff on the snails. It really looks like the stuff on snails. Oh, gross. Okay. So it comes in like... Obviously, it's a sheet mask, so it comes in sheets. Ew, you guys, look at this. Do you see all that? comes like this, and it was in between that plastic sheet that I just showed you guys. And then it looks like there are two separate parts. There's like a top portion of my face and then a bottom portion of my face. Yeah, so there's a top portion, and then this is the bottom portion. So I'm going to start with the top portion and all you do there's literally two layers between the actual mask so there's a flimsy one and then I put the mask on ew okay so 
And I put the mask on. I should have put my hair up before this, but now my hands are all slimy, slug, snail-like. And then I take off this top on. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm gonna pull it up a little bit higher. I mean, it feels like any other sheet mask, so like that's not freaking me out, but it's just the fact that it's like snail secretions that freaks me out. That's what I look like. And then I'm gonna take the top or the bottom portion. Same deal there, you take it apart. There is a thin sheet. Man, it is slippery, slimy, disgusting. So the little flimsy sheet comes up and off and then you've got the thicker sheet that go that is like supposed to help you guide except for this thing is so slimy i'm just not even going to use uh the thick part because it's literally slipping off of the plastic so i'm just going to take it and put it on my face Okay, all right, so there it is. How do I look? Oh, by the way, so today, I'll just sit here with you guys, let me see. It's right now that, oh gosh, what do I do with this? It is currently 2.40, so I'm going to let this sit I'm gonna just try 20 minutes and then see how that goes. So at three o'clock, I'll take this off. But before I go, I have to tell you about what I got today. I got an email saying that someone had messaged me and I'm pretty sure this person has messaged me before and I'm also pretty sure that they have messaged other YouTubers with the same exact creepy message and I'm going to read it to you right now. So it says, charming and sensuous. You look stunning, hot and sexy, very sumptuous. Wonder how you smell and taste. Smile, just few random thoughts. What? Like, if this was a legit message, like someone really did use this as a pickup line or a pickup tool, this would not get any girl. I don't know a single person who would read this and think, oh my gosh, that is so sweet. They would be like, what the F is going on, you pervert. So to the person that messaged me, um, you're a perv and get some new material because that's not how you pick somebody up. P.S. I'm married. So clearly you don't watch any of my videos. You just send random stuff. Anyway, I'll be back in a few when this stuff is ready to come off and then I'll let you know my thoughts. Okay guys, so it's been 20 minutes since I put on this mask, so I'm gonna start taking it off. One thing I do have to say though, um, that I'm not a huge fan of with this mask is that, I'll show you. It doesn't come all the way around my face. Like it, it hits the bottom of my chin, um, but it doesn't go right all the way around. So like this part of my face doesn't have any mask stuff on it. And even if I were to move, like see, even this side doesn't have it either, right there. And so there's no real way to like move the mask for it to be on my whole face, if that makes sense. But anyway, so I'm gonna take it off since I put the top on first, I'll take the top off first. And then the bottom. Ugh, gross. And then I am going to just rub it around my face while I talk to you guys about this mask. My final thoughts is the only thing I dislike about this mask, actually the two things I dislike about this mask, is that one, it comes in two parts. Um, I want a sheet mask that just comes in one sheet, to just to go all over my face. Um, the other issue I have with it, like I mentioned, it doesn't come all the way around my face. Um, it, it wasn't quite wide enough, I guess, 
um, to come all around my face. And I also had a little bit of a gap up on the top, um, but that's all fine. It's not like a deal breaker for me. When it was on my face, it felt really cool. So it was quite cooling. Um, most gel uh, masks are cooling. My face, it feels um, smooth. It looks really shiny, but like I said, I have to like wash it off. Um, so I'm going to go wash it off real fast and then I'm going to just leave it dry. So I'm just going to wash my face, leave my skin to air dry a little bit, and then I'll let you know how my face feels and I'll get back to you in just a second. My skin feels really moisturized, that's for sure, and that's exactly what it was supposed to do. It was just a hydrating, moisturizing mask. So my skin feels hydrated and feels clean. If you feel like you want to put an equivalent of what slug or a snail secretion, mucin or mucus on your face, then there you go. Tony Molly sheet mask for your face. It is hydrating. It does what it says it's going to. I just really hope I don't break out. It says it's irritant free. Um, so we'll see. But my skin is always so sensitive and who knows if it'll break out or not. But Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you think you would try out this mask. You can get it at Ulta. That's where I got mine. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.